on the next Outer Limits, an unhappy little girl. I've got another prospect for you. The mysterious nanny. Go away! And the man who's after them all. It's the trackers. They found me. A sinister game of cat and mouse. Special Agent Walsh. With no place to hide. I'll die before I'll tell you anything. They prey on innocent little girls like your daughter. A deadly conspiracy within a startling secret on the new Showtime original series, The Outer Limits. Premiering next Friday on Showtime. A Showtime original movie. Beyond the hustle. The setup. The double dealing. Lies the biggest con of all. I loved you! And you tried to kill me! Triple Cross. Coming in May. Only on Showtime. Showtime Late Night. Where night owls gather. Tonight at 11, the feet fly fast and furiously in street night. Dearly beloved, Showtime invites you to ponder what goes together like a horse and carriage. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. First, Hugh Grant and Andy McDowell star in the Oscar-nominated Four Weddings and a Funeral. In the words of David Cassidy, in fact, um, while he was still with the Partridge family, uh, I think I love you. Then, Showtime Extras brings you more weddings and a funeral. Meet the director and screenwriter who gives unique insights into the film and show exclusive outtakes never seen before. Great honor doing the service! Thank you! For heaven's sake, stop shouting at me! The other fellow is the one that's deaf! We cut it because we were like watchmakers and we would fine-tune this thing endlessly. Four weddings and a funeral, followed by Showtime Extras. Sunday evening at 8 on Showtime. My wife is the most amazing woman. She's got 600 different kinds of smiles. And they can light you up. They can make you laugh out loud. And they can make you cry just like that. Alice and Michael are the happiest of couples. They have two children. This is you. Not inside the dress, inside the body. How did I get in there? Everything seems perfect. We should do this much more often because we can afford this. Not unless they come the drinks. Except for the secret. Meg Ryan and Andy Garcia. When a man loves a woman. Directed by Luis Mandoki. Come this way. I'm getting in. This is a love story that's, that starts where most other love stories in movies end. Most love stories end when they come together. And this movie starts. At that point, the romance is gone, the fires are gone. And the tough work starts. I know we have pressures. And we need to have fun. But ringing you out at the end of an evening is less fun than it used to be. The movie's really about the terms of a relationship being renegotiated. Well, it's a codependent relationship, so obviously, you know, that uh, one thing doesn't happen without affecting the other. I am not your problem. I am not your problem to solve. It was so much more fun in the old days, wasn't it, Michael? I'd get drunk, I'd pass out, and you'd put me back together. That was the best, huh? That made you feel good. Ultimately, he has to learn that he serviced, in a way, her disease. Meg Ryan and Andy Garcia star in When a Man Loves a Woman. Premiering Saturday, May 6th at 8 p.m., only on Showtime. The heiress was hot. I'd do anything for you. The drifter was on fire. Would you like to play a game with me? And the night they shared. It's her word against yours. Left the whole world gasping. Murder, rape, not to mention kidnapping and hijacking. There's a lesson to be learned, but not for him. Surprise to see me, baby. Bo Derek, Jeff Fahey, Stephen Bauer, and Robert Mitchum. She's fired! Why are you doing this? Marshall's getting me. Woman of Desire. Monday evening at 8 o'clock on Showtime. Monday nights. Come and get an hour of forbidden fantasies that starts with a brand new episode of Red Shoe Diaries. Enter Eden's Bake Shop. Mm. I have an idea. Where sugar and spice. Did you peek? Lead to naughty vice. Is that Mars man? 
Then get more wildly sexy tales when you enter the erotic zone, where each week you get a different story from our own collection of provocative programs. So, come and get it. Monday evening at 10 o'clock on Showtime. Seventy-one Hotel, take two, A and B, common marker. And action! The story of Dolores Claiborne begins on a small island off the coast of Maine called Little Tall Island. You see a house. Inside the house, you discover what looks like and may very well be a murder. Dolores, leave me be! <laughs> The next face you see is Dolores Claiborne. She killed her. This is not the first time that Dolores Claiborne's been accused of murder. Christopher Plummer, playing John Mackey, investigated her then. Actually, he believed that she was guilty. She got off, and he's determined this time he's going to nail her. Jennifer Jason Lee plays Dolores Claiborne's daughter, who she hasn't seen in 15 years. Uh, Dolores, it, it's your daughter. I love the mother-daughter relationship because she has so much rage towards her mother. And at the same time, there's all this guilt because she knows how desperately her mother loves her. Each woman gets to know the other woman in ways they never knew. And it's a process of peeling back the layers. What is the matter with you? The sooner this girl starts telling the truth, the sooner we'll be done here. One of us is going to the boneyard. I'll be here to my An accident, Dolores, can be an unhappy woman's best friend. The perfect family. Oh, Pappy! Living the perfect life. <laughs> then he came. He brought with him a new vocabulary. I'm gonna go munching on some grind ditch. New farming techniques. <laughs> and the square dance of the future. Buck the wood! Buck the wood! Come on, buck the wood! He's the son-in-law from hell. You distract him, I'm gonna hit him over the head with a shovel. Pauly Shore. He's a relative nightmare. Son-in-law. Tuesday evening at 8 on Showtime. One star. Two. Movies. Every Wednesday. Back to back. Back to back. Charles Grodin. First, meet a kid who deserves a Surgeon General's warning. Clifford! He's a, he's a lying, conniving, evil little monster! <laughs> Charles Grodin and Martin Short star in Clifford. Back to back. Next, marital bliss is called on account of the ex-husband. He'll never bother us again. We'll kill him. Chevy Chase, Goldie Hawn, and Charles Grodin star in Seems Like Old Times. Back to back Charles Grodin this Wednesday at 8. It's very restricting. It's very uncomfortable, especially after lunch on a hot day <laughs> you feel you, you you swell up all around it sometimes when i took the corset off at the end of the day i was i was black and blue i i, I would have red lines and even bruises on on my ribs well obviously it makes your chest stick out much more which is something that i think that we didn't you know nowadays we really try to cover things up a lot of the time um, but, you know, female um, appendages are very much uh, in full view, let's say. So I think once you get used to that, you can, it, it can be fun. Corsets are horrible, vicious things, you know? Uh, I've, I saw this diagram of what a, a corset does to your internal organs. I mean, it's, it's, it's truly unbelievable. Your spleen goes, like, up here, and your kidneys get squashed, and your stomach and your liver. I mean, it, it really, like, demolishes your inside. It's terrible. Hey! She's a singing nun. Get up off of that thing and dance till you feel better. 
She's a flying nun. She's like none you've ever seen. I'm gonna turn you guys into a choir. <laughs> She's the hottest thing at St. Francis, bar none. This uh, needs a prayer. Whoopi Goldberg, Sister Act 2. Tomorrow evening at 8 on Showtime. Showtime delivers a knockout cast who put out the paper. Michael Keaton. You drive me crazy when you're like this. What are you wearing? Glenn Close. One of our security guys tried to frisk me for having drinks later. Oh. Marissa Tomei. You can miss this place. Robert Duvall. Don't we have anything but fun today? I got it! Between the headlines... Jack. Hey! ...and the deadlines, the paper. Tomorrow evening at 10.05 on Showtime. I was driving down the road one night, and um, I don't know if I should tell this. Uh, it was raining real bad, and a boat hit me and unhitched. And I was with a girl next to me, and the boat was driving along, unhitched, and went along the highway. <laughs> Sparks were flying, and the girl goes, <laughs> look, there's a boat. And the boat was flying along the highway, and I was like, quiet! And I uh, drove home. Now, we're always traveling with four dogs, so it's always something ridiculous. Because people do like to pick up roadkills because they keep it from heat. It had an oil leak, so I was constantly putting it in. And then I had a big date, so I didn't put it in all day and night. And then I dropped it off and started driving, and it ran out of oil, and it, it ruined the whole engine. It just seized up on the freeway. And that was it. The car was ruined. Because the engine was like $2,000. The car was worth 300 so you do the math. In my car. God, I hate these questions. <laughs> I pass on this one. <laughs> I was in um, Tuscany, and um, uh, I, we stopped off and had a, a fantastic lunch. So I got a little, you know, windy, and um, I was. I had the control panel of the windows on my side. I had like child things, and if you clicked the switch, nobody could open a window. And so I was really nasty and, and, and made everybody suffer the fumes of a, an enormous fart. And that was, I'm known as, that was known as the Tuscan fart. An illicit affair heated up their days. Is this against your religion? Probably. But the nights apart were cold. I didn't realize you still cared. Just about your job. Then, a sinister plot finds a voice. Let's do it. Your wife, my husband. And passion and deceit turn into a web of murder. This isn't what I expected. Teresa Russell and Adam Baldwin star in a Showtime original movie, Trade Off, premiering Saturday, April 29th at 8 p.m. 7 Central. He lived for hundreds of years. Do not fade. As a man. Do not grow old. Immortal. I'm only interested in love. Trapped in a gender-bending reality. The treachery of men. As he... Same person. ...became a woman. Just a different sex. Based on the classic novel by Virginia Woolf, Orlando. Premiering Tuesday, May 2nd at 8 p.m. on Showtime. Showtime is going to the outer limits to put viewers on the edge of their seats. Light years ahead of the 60s anthology series. The Outer Limits will prey on fear.